What's going on everybody and welcome to your second HTML and CSS tutorial. Now in this tutorial we'll be learning about what is HTML and why the heck do you need HTML at all. So basically uh, in a day you visit a number of sites like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Google, Wikipedia and all that. So there are billions of sites on internet so uh, your browser needs a certain standard or a certain layer to understand what every service is returning to your computer for example when you type google.com down here and press enter then your computer goes to google.com and says to google okay return me something so google says yeah take this bunch of code and what is that code right click and click on view paid source now Google actually returns you returns your computer this code and your computer forwards this code to your browser which is in my case Google Chrome so now your browser sees that yeah this code is HTML don't worry this is not basically HTML Google is using some crap code anyways can't question about Google so uh, the server sends HTML to your browser and your browser parses and displays nice and neat content to you so HTML is basically used to create sweet awesome stylish and supported uh, browser supported versions of web pages HTML is the language which is used to develop websites and develop your web pages. So, then what? Why do we require CSS? So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet, and CSS is required to style your elements. So for example, let's say you have got. Let's say you have a kind of game. In which you can dress a man with uh, the suit and the pants and hat spectacles moustache and all of the, that stuff so in that game the man would be your HTML and the dress and the colors and spectacles or hair color or whatever you apply to man would be the CSS so CSS kind of uh, kind of adds magic and life to your page by styling your elements and setting various kinds of animations and selectors and all that stuff which is used to design your web page basically so HTML gives you a kind of skeleton layout and CSS is used to add life to that layout so this was a short introduction about HTML and CSS in your day-to-day -day life and from the next tutorial we'll be getting some hands-on to HTML and CSS coding. So I'll see you then and don't forget to subscribe.